Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more NFL picks for week number 11. Uh, I'm actually recording this before Thursday Night Football. I like to do that as often as I can because it just makes the most sense, but I usually do it after Thursday night. But here we go. Uh, Thursday Night Football, we have tonight the Steelers at the Browns. Uh, should be a pretty good game. Uh, if the Browns want any chance of staying in playoff uh, hunt contention, then they're going to need to beat the Steelers tonight. And uh, do I think that they can do it? Yes, I do. Uh, Rudolph for the Steelers. I don't have much confidence in him as a quarterback. I'm sorry, I was random. Like, here it's sticking up. There we go. Uh, I think Rudolph. Um, I don't think he's a he's not, not like a bad quarterback, but I just expect the Browns at home to finally get a good big win and uh, live up to that talent that they've been hyped up over all offseason about. So yeah, I'm gonna go uh, Browns there. Uh, next we have Jets at Redskins. This is probably the worst game of the week, at least in terms of winning record teams. Uh, Jets came off a big win against the Giants. Redskins, they kind of play tough on defense, but offense, they just can't get anything done. Uh, I like the Jets to continue their, their momentum in this game. I think Jets win. Jaguars at Colts. Uh, this is an interesting game because I believe Nick Foles is returning to the starting lineup for the Jaguars, uh, despite Minshew playing really well in relief of him. And the Colts, meanwhile, are sticking with Brian Hoyer. Uh, I think Brian Hoyer is their backup, right, for, J uh, for Jacoby Brissett. Unless Jacoby Brissett is set to return, I don't know. Uh, this could be a close game. I really don't know who has the upper hand here. I'm going to go Colts to get off this losing streak at home. Uh, I don't know who's playing at quarterback, but uh, either way, I'll pick the Colts in this game. Next game, we have Bills at Dolphins. Dolphins are playing really tough now. Uh, they've been playing tough for a while, but they finally got their first win a couple weeks ago, and now they've won two in a row. Uh, they're welcoming a Bills team that lost a heartbreaker in Cleveland last week. Um, I think this Bills team is still good. I expect them to win this game, and I'm going to pick them to win this game, but this game could be... A little bit closer than people think. It is a divisional game. And, uh, yeah, I, th I do think the Bills will win, though. Cowboys at Lions. Cowboys coming off of a heartbreaking loss to the Vikings on Sunday Night Football. Uh, they're a good team. They're, Dak played really well in that game. What let them down was uh, twofold. Their defense and their play calling by Jason Garrett. Um, I still think they're a good team. And they're going to a Lions team. is still most likely going to be missing Matthew Stafford, who's been out with the back injury. Um... Uh, uh, if if Stafford was in this game, I think this is a coin flip game, honestly, because I think he would do, he would do enough to take apart this Cowboys defense, which isn't, which isn't very good, and keep it really close. But um, without Stafford, I think the lot, the Cowboys should be able to win this game fairly easily. Uh, Texans at Ravens. Uh, this is a really good game. Deshaun Watson versus Lamar Jackson, a really good quarterback quarterback matchup. Um, Ravens have been riding hot. Uh, I think that the Texans could actually pose a kind of fun threat for the Ravens in this game. Uh, it is in Baltimore, but I just expect this game to be really close. I understand the Ravens are like a riding, like a, a piping hot team right now, but uh, this Texans team is pretty good. And Deshaun Watson is a really fun quarterback to watch as well. And uh, this game could really go either way. I. I, I'm going to pick the Texans in an upset pick this week. Um, that's going to be my upset of the week. I, I just, it could go it could go either way. I'll pick the Texans in the upset. Falcons and Panthers. Uh, Falcons coming off of one of the most, probably the most surprising upset of the year. Uh, going into New Orleans and beating up the Saints. It wasn't even close. Uh, they just straight up outplayed the Saints. Um, and they're going to a Panthers team that lost a really close game in Green Bay. To the Packers um, like a yard short of tying that game up but uh, I'm gonna go Falcons here I just think the Falcons I'm not saying they're gonna go to the playoffs or anything but they're a team that could definitely make sort of a run of sorts uh, so yeah I'm gonna go with the Falcons I think Dan Quinn has his team playing really well right now uh, next we have Saints at Buccaneers this could be a really close game as well because if the Saints aren't really in their mojo right now. If, they're, if, they, if that bye week kind of screwed them up a little bit, uh, they might not play that well against a Buccaneers team that can score some points. Uh, the Buccaneers defense is not great, but if Winston plays a mistake-free game, and that's a big if, their offense scores a lot of points. They get a lot of yards, too. I think this could be a shootout in uh, Tampa Bay. Uh, 
I'm going to go with the Saints to bounce back because they're the kind of team that doesn't really lose two in a row, really. Unless it's like a Saints team of old where they will let that happen. But I'm going to go Saints here. Broncos at Vikings. Uh, Broncos coming off a bye week. Uh, and they're going to a Vikings team that just won a big game on Sunday Night Football. Uh, I think the Vikings should take care of business in this game. Uh, I forgot who is starting for the Broncos, but he only has like very few career starts. And um, the Broncos defense is going to make it, make it a tough day for Kirk Cousins, but I think that they'll do enough to win this game. I think they should win decently, handedly. Um, yeah, we go Vikings there. Cardinals and Niners. The last they played like two weeks ago. This is a weird uh, matchup to have right away again. Um, they played a really close game last time. I don't think it'll be as close this time per se. Um, I think the Niners are straight up the better team and coming off their first loss of the season. I think they'll be fired up playing at home. Um, yeah, I think, um, I think losing a game is actually kind of a good thing because it takes that pressure off your, uh, off your team to like keep winning every week. And now they're just going to continue what they do best, play really good defense and, um, consistent offense. And I think they should win the game here. Patriots at Eagles. This is a really good game in the sense that um, not only should it be a good game in general, but the Patriots um, coming off their first loss. I think they had a bye week last week. Um, <clears throat> and they're going to an Eagles team that really needs to win. Uh, they are now tied for the division lead in the NFC East. And I think that it's really it's crucial, actually, that they win this game. I think they really need it more. So I think the Eagles win this game. And I know that sounds crazy because it's the Patriots, but desperation is a really powerful thing in the NFL. And um, I think the Eagles are definitely not a desperate team, but they really do need a win to because they have an opportunity to take control of the division, uh, especially if the Cowboys somehow lose um, or just keep pace with the Cowboys, either one. Going Eagles there. Bengals at Raiders, easy. I'm going Raiders. The Bengals are the worst team in the NFL right now. Uh, they just seem like they're so stripped of talent at most positions. And the Raiders team is playing really tough right now. They're only a game out of first place in the AFC West. Uh, and the Raiders, have just, they're, they've been playing well this year. Their defense isn't that great, but their offense is really consistent. And uh, pretty fun to watch, honestly. I like to watch them when I can. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go Raiders here. I think that should be a pretty solid win for them. Uh, Sunday. This is Sunday Night Football. What a weird Sunday Night Football choice. You have Bears at Rams. This is I'm surprised they did not flex this game out. Uh, the Bears offense improved a little bit each of the last few weeks, but not much. They're still pretty disappointing. But that's good because uh, that's okay in this matchup because the Rams offense is almost just as bad, if not just as bad. Uh, the Rams last week, I think, scored three points total on offense, which is crazy. Uh, they're, they're playing in a funk right now. And I don't, I have, I have, I don't really follow the Rams. So I can't really explain to you why they're playing this way, but they're just not playing well. Uh, this is a, this is a game of like, who can stop bleeding first? Um, I'm going to go with the Rams at home because I just don't trust this bears team, especially led by Mitch Trubisky. I just, I, this, I, why is this game on Sunday Night football? Um, Interesting choice. I'm going to go Rams there by default, I suppose. Uh, Monday night, we have Chiefs at Chargers. This is a really interesting game. The Chiefs have been losing a lot of games recently. Uh, they've lost two of their last three, and uh, they're 6-4 and four now. And I don't know what the Chargers record is, but um, they have a chance here to kind of get back into the race for their division. If they can beat the Chiefs here... I think the Chargers will move to like four wins, I think, and the Chiefs would be at six. So, you know, make things kind of interesting in the division. Uh, do I think they'll win? I think the Chargers will win this game. The Chiefs have not been playing very well. Mahomes played well in his week back, but the defense is showing some major issues. And I think Phillip Rivers will bounce back from the really bad performance he had against the Raiders last Thursday night. And those are my week 11 NFL picks. Thank you guys for watching. Leave your own comments down below, your own picks. Uh, what, do you, what games are you guys excited for? Uh, so thank you guys for watching. And until next time, this has been Money Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.